This here is a review of the DR Lawn Edger, four cycle gas, 179 cc, 8.1 foot pounds of torque. Rope start, but they do have an electric start mount that's uh, $100 more. This one was about $440. Electric start would be about $540. Made in China, so it ain't made in the US like they claim anymore. Claim that the factory's in Virginia. Then why is this made in China? Let me check out the uh, Changra shear. Check that there is not any fuel spilling or fuel leakage. Filling fuel before starting engine. Poorly translated. Grill guard for the muffler. Got a fuel shut off. Got choke. That's choke. That's run. Automatic throttle. The baler. You see a cutting depth. Use this to adjust the angle of your cut. Depending on which way you want, from 15 degrees, 15 degrees in either direction. In the middle is level. It's your belt blade comes with it. It comes basically 100%, almost about 99% assembled. All you have to do is bolt this upper handle on and attach this pin with these two cotter pins. That's all you got to do. Put this in, put the cotter pins in, then bolt this upper handle on with these two bolts here. That's all you gotta do. Doesn't come with oil, but you so you use 10W30. Already put gas in it. Oil basically just fill it till it overflows. You got a dipstick. This and obviously you measure it with the dipstick all the way out, and it should be all the way covering it. So basically till it pukes oil. Dipstick is really useless. Easy to access spark plug with this big part thing here. OHV engine. So, this is your cutting depth. Can't do this with one hand. You pull that out, you engage and disengage it. Paint's, gonna already, paint's already starting to scratch. So, that's going to, a couple uses, that's going to be bare metal. But it's shiny for the start. One thing I don't like is these cheap garbage can plastic wheels. China couldn't uh, splurge for some uh, rubber wheels. This thing cost over 400 bucks. You can give me some decent wheels. Now, how long are these going to break before they? How long are these going to last before they break? You find these in your wheelie bins, for fuck's sakes. So, no expense spared anywhere else. But they went cheap on the wheels. But it's supposed to be made for curbs. You got a curb wheel adapter here. You adjust this. And then you're gonna lift it up like that for uh, doing curbs. Makes it a lot easier and safer. Just loosen that. And then you can like go out in the curb with one wheel out in the street for a nice level safe cut. So you're not trying to do a juggling act. So that's smart. Anyway, let's see if this thing will start, and I'll show you, show you how overgrown this is. I mean, a side lot, they don't maintain nothing. This is what I managed to do with that small edger. That I'd have to ride on top of the grass and stop, pry it up, stop, pry it up, because it would stall immediately. Then you come over here, and the sidewalk ends about there, so it's overgrown about half a foot on both sides. You see over here, someone tried to do it. I didn't do this, this was already done. So, let's see if this thing has the power to cut through that. The toy edger didn't. It's like, as soon as it touched the door, it stalled. Let's see, where was that little thing at anyway? I'm trying to see where my little toy edger's at. I don't see it at the moment, it's buried somewhere in here. Eh, screw it. Yeah, buried in the back. Fuck it. You've seen a video on it. I'll put a link in the description. Did the job at the house before the trailer, but you know, it'd be great for maintaining, but it's not going to work otherwise. Anyway, let's fire this thing up. Okay, let's see if this thing will even start. 
gas is on. Choke is all the way on. Gas is on. I don't see the primer. I do a couple pulls. I well, started no problem, just did a slow couple pulls and then pull it. Rope is short, rope is shorter than I thought it was, so that kind of shocked me. The rope is shorter than normal. But okay, let's get into position and see if this thing will actually edge anything. Alright, little real test here. Well, it shoes through it, no problem, but because it's so thick, I can't get it to go forward because it gets stuck. You know, because it can't, it's not going to ride up on the grass, so I have to do like a couple passes, then I have to stop, cut it off, bring out the grass, and then uh, continue. That's how overgrown it is. But it's not bogging down. It doesn't, it doesn't care. It's just, it's just getting stuck. You know, it can't go forward because the grass is blocking it. But it's cutting through it, no problem. It's not bogging down. It's not stalling. It don't care. All right, I'll cut it, no problem. Show you. See how much I got done so far. So this is what I gotta do now. Is take this, get a shovel because it's actually glued to the sidewalk. Let's literally take it and do this. Pull it to the side. Then continue a little bit, stop, yank it out. That's how overgrown it is. See how far it is? That's where the sidewalk ends. This is how far out it came. That's how overgrown it is. But it's handling it, no problem. So I'm gonna double check the oil and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue making a couple more paths and then we'll come back with an update. What a mess. This is how far I've gotten so far. That's all I'm going to do for today. Continue on later. I still got this side to do later on. I'm working on this side still. Let's just see how this barrier shit's overgrown. It's never been edged. 
So, getting there slowly, but making progress. And sweep this up, let it dry, then I'll go back over it later. So, it does work, but still, you can't get it to go forward because of how thick it is. So, it's got to ride on top of the grass. So, you got to try and guesstimate where you're at. Then, stop every so feet and pry this up to continue. Because it's just so thick, there's nothing for it to ride on. But it's not stalling out. The other one would not have done this. As soon as it goes in the dirt, it stalls. This, this doesn't care. You know, extreme conditions that call for extreme machines. So it's working, but it's slow going. Now the yard waste guys are going to be mad. There's at least 11, 12 bags here. I can't fill them up that much because you know the dirt weighs dirt's heavy as it is. I'm going to maybe put like a couple clumps in there. This thing perform flawlessly. Like I said, because it's so thick, it can't just go straight. So I got to so it rides up on top of the grass. Then you pull it backwards. Add this little zip tie here so I can lock this on. So I can step away from it for a second. Pull up the chunks of grass to continue going forward. And then at the same time, I can slide this down. So I don't have to cut it off each time. So I'll show you what it looks like. This is what I've gotten done so far. Pretty much all swept up. See the improvement. See how far overgrown it was. So but basically I got like so I got right it on top of the grass, then go backwards and stop, pry it off, then do it again. That other edger wouldn't do that. It would like as soon as you try to put it in the dirt, it would stall. It didn't have the power. It's basically a four-second weed whacker engine on a frame, that's, so it didn't have the power to do this. That does. And that's what you need for something like this. So, it's a winner. It works.